Hi everyone, this is Han Bon Kim from the task. Goals page has been improved with version 6.3. I'll explain details about the improved goals page and other things added on this update. Main usage of good task is to get things done with bottom-up method. You write down tasks and get them done. To keep long-term goals in mind, goals page has been added in good task. Previous version was too complicated so it has been improved on this version. You open the page and you see four parts. First is category. There is one overview default category that's mandatory. Others can be edited to fit your needs. Preset is made with five categories which are health, career, wealth, relationship, and growth. You can use it as you want. I personally use principles, company goals, and financial goals. And I check it every morning and on moments when I have some break such as coffee times. On this section, you can tap arrow to move between them. Tapping dot button will bring you back to overview. Each section will show goals all time, current year, and current month. On month section, you'll see all your categories for that month. Tapping arrow will let you move between months. Same goes for year and all time. I wish you make use of this page and get more things done with your goals in mind. On the 6.3 update, you can also customize font size with more various options in iOS. Go into settings, appearance, font size, and you can adjust this slider to select the size that meets your needs. On top is how lists will be shown, and below is how tasks will be shown. Also, text got some improvements. New text snippet options has been added. Now when you write hashtag or at sign and type a word, adding a space afterwards will move that tag to notes field. You can turn it off inside settings, new task, text snippets. New settings for tag types on sort option has been added too. When you choose tags for sort options, good task will fetch tags that's used in smart lists and quick actions automatically. You can manually add the ones to be used. By using this new tag type settings, you can choose which types of tags that will be fetched when it runs automatically. You can choose between all, hashtag, at sign, or both. Other than that, refresh action has been added to reports daily page which deletes saved file in iCloud Drive. If you need to refresh more data, you can simply delete the files in Files app for the date. That's it for today. Hope you enjoy the update and get it done with good task. Thanks.